Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina and today I have a little bitty, teeny tiny, two item Target shoe haul. Now I know y'all have heard me talking about the Mad Love brand from Target. I absolutely love those little slip on shoes. I think they're gonna be so wonderful for spring and summer. So I was looking through my closet, I realized I didn't have any white shoes at all. And I wanted to get some black ones, but I couldn't find any black. So I settled on these gray ones. They are the Mad Love. I think they are pretty much the same thing as the ones I have in camo, but they're gray. So I just wanted to see if I thought I would like them. These are the size eights. Cute little shoes. I love that they have the arch support. Y'all, I'm, I'm easily impressed. But yeah, this impressed me. They're just comfortable little, you know, canvas shoes. So I got these and I also got, Miss Callie has stolen the table again. Miss Callie Cat, everyone. <laughs> also got these that, okay, these are not the one reason. I haven't tried these particular ones on yet, but I don't know that I absolutely love these heels that kind of you know scrunch in so I was curious to try these because it's the only ones I could find in white actually I wanted to get a pair like that that are just slip-ons of course I never do anything with these laces anyway but I'm gonna give these a try and see if I like these white shoes they do have this detail on the back just to give it a little pop of something you know you know me, I can never do all a solid. I'm trying to get more solid, y'all, but I end up with stripes or polka dots or florals. <laughs> it just happens that way. So I will try these on and we'll see what y'all like and what you think. And I believe each of these was $22. I will look it up and tell you later. We'll see you in a bit. All right, y'all, please just ignore all the junk that's everywhere because I've got a couple boxes. I haven't decided exactly what I'm keeping and all my paperwork for writing everything up on the other side. I'm sorry about that. It's just been one of those days where everything is everywhere. Now, like I normally do, I have one sock on and one sock off just to see what they would feel like both ways. Now, I definitely can feel that scrunched up heel on the back. I don't know if it would bother me. I could probably wear like a no-show sock and make that work, but they are more comfortable with a sock for sure. So that's this pair. I don't know that I'm absolutely in love with them. Uh, part of me wonders if I did actually tie them like you're supposed to tie shoes. If I tightened them a little bit, if it would make a difference. And the wind is knocking things over. Sorry, y'all. So if I did tighten them a little bit, they do feel a little better now, but it kind of defeats the purpose of slipping on and off and as you see nowadays they make the you know you can't exactly tie these things it would be a baby tie <laughs> y'all I have entirely too much fun with this and you know I'm tied together and Callie's like whoa what is that thing moving <laughs> Because I didn't want to take them apart until I decided if I was going to keep them or not. So, I'm a little on the fence. I'm going to have to think about this. Let's try the next one. Okay, I have these gray ones on. They are a lot more like my uh, camo ones. And normally my camo ones I wear without socks. Simply because I just like slipping something on and off. Um, I probably should put a no-show sock on to show you these. Just so you can see. But... I'm being lazy today. Um, what do y'all think? Do y'all like these shoes? Do you think they are a keeper? Um, I mean, they fit fine. They're roomy. Not too roomy, but roomy enough that I could wear them with the sock if I wanted to. And this is kind of a thick sock that I'm wearing. So, I've just got to think about them. I don't know. I'm in a mood today. I'll move you back up so we can talk to me. Okay, I think my mood today is just, I don't know, I'm a little blah. There's a lot going on today. I've got two family members in surgery, so I'm a little stressed. Um, my 
Apple laptop is supposed to show up today and it's raining outside so I'm nervous it's going to get wet and not work and if you've ever bought an Apple you know they are not cheap. So <laughs> stress about that, been going, you know, running to the front door every five minutes just to check and see if it's there yet. So I don't know, um, I'm really, I figured I would get these shoes, I would love them, I'd stick them in my closet and not think twice about them. But I don't know, for some reason, I am hesitant. Um, and that's on both of them. So, I want to know what y'all think. Do you think they're worth keeping? Do you think I should send them back? Like I said, I do like this brand of shoe. I think, you know, it's an inexpensive, well-made shoe. Um, for some reason, I don't feel like these white ones are as well-made as the other ones. They're just a little different. And I don't know if that's just me or what, but I don't know. And white is the ones I wanted to keep. I wanted, you know, I wanted to, a white canvas shoe. If you have a good inexpensive white canvas shoe or brand that you know, please let me know down below. I would love to hear from you because I'm kind of thinking about sending these back. Just the simple fact that I had to tighten them to make them feel snug on my foot and then, of course, you can't tie them because the laces are so short. Unless I went out and bought another pair of laces, which I'm not going to do that. I'll probably just send these back. So, I just have to decide if I'm going to keep these gray ones or not. So, let me know what you think below. Comment. Press that like button while you're down there. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. Y'all, I really appreciate y'all. You make my day every time that you do write a comment. I love reading about it. I love hearing your opinions, what you think. Y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.